Good morning. It's Tuesday, May 7th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Amber Fire, A Deep Blue Throne, and That Voice. And our scripture is Ezekiel chapter 1. Above this surface was something that looked like a throne made of blue lapis lazuli. And on this throne high above was a figure whose appearance resembled a man. From what appeared to be his waist up, he looked like gleaming amber, flickering like a fire. And from his waist down, he looked like a burning flame, shining with splendor. All around him was a glowing halo, like a rainbow, shining in the clouds on a rainy day. This is what the glory of the Lord looked like to me. When I saw it, I fell face down on the ground, and I heard someone's voice speaking to me. Stand up, son of man, said the voice. I want to speak with you. I have read these words many times. This morning, I heard them in three different distinct voices. The lion in C.S. Lewis's Lion, Witch, and Wardrobe, James Earl Jones as Darth Vader in Star Wars, and then Jack Nicholson in any movie you want to name. Take a moment to hear them with me. We'll start with James Earl Jones. That deep voice, intonation, and resonance, it's impossible to miss. When the voice spoke from the throne, it was, Stand up, son of man. I want to speak with you. I wanted to sit up straight and pay attention. You cannot ignore a command that emanates from the deep, dark blue of a lapis lazuli throne. It was calm, but eerie, and it strangely compelled me to want more. On reading the text a second time, I heard Jack Nicholson's edgy, bordering on psychotic invitation. Stand up, son of man. I want to speak with you. I wanted to run away until there were no more places to run. This is the voice that could freeze fire in its tracks, the judgment of a thousand Adolf Hitlers. Well, after a brief shudder, I read the text one more time. Suddenly, I was one of C.S. Lewis's child characters, Edmund or Peter or Susan or perhaps Lucy, and I was in conversation with a talking lion, and the voice was decidedly different. Stand up, son of man. I want to speak with you. This was the friend voice that I had always hoped God would sound like. Ezekiel's description of God as an amber glowing man from the waist up and a splendidly burning fire from the waist down, surrounded by a halo of the colors of the rainbow, served to highlight the voice completing that breathtaking moment of an encounter with the glory of God. We all have our very deep memories of times that have influenced or affected us deeply and shaped our character and perspective of life. I've had some very distinct God moments where His presence was overwhelming, unlike anything in sound, appearance, or which any of the other senses can describe. It's what the name suggests, other. God is like no one else, and when his desire is for you to stand up because he wants to speak with you, well, let's just say it would be a smart thing for anyone to listen. For you today, Ezekiel didn't schedule a God moment. God did. On the other hand, God's word tells us that when we hunger and thirst after righteousness, we will be filled. Have you hungered for God to say, stand up, I want to speak with you? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.